Hey everyone, it's me Liv. I hope you're doing good out there. So today I am bringing you a um, review on this product that was sent to me. I was recently asked by Caspier's Wax Company to try out some of their items. And so they sent me these little melted wax hearts. Um, and then they also sent me two of these different metal spoons. And then... Um, I ended up getting four different um, seals in a bag and then two handles with two different seals on it. So let's see if I can zoom this in a little bit better so you can see. So this one is a mermaid theme. This one is a, oop, got it backwards. It is a dragonfly. And then the four that I got in the bag are a bee. Let's see if I can focus. They're almost there. There we go. Then a uh, turtle. And as you can see, these are really great images, very versatile. They have a huge catalog over there. And having now tried this product, I have to say I was very impressed with the quality of it. Um, I do believe it's coming from pretty far away from in China. Uh, so it did take a while to get here, but once it got here, they were really nice to use. So let's show you how simple this is for anybody to use. So I'm just going ahead and taking this out. Now, the one error that I did is that I really should have gotten one of the stands that you see. All I ended up doing was purchasing uh, or selecting actually two of the different spoons there so that was a mistake because even though you can use a tea light because these are metal the heat does conduct through the entire uh, spoon so it becomes very hot to handle after a while um so that's why if you decide to purchase something and you do not have one of the melt wax stands where you can put the tea candle in to um, have a little bit more distance and ideally not have the uh, spoon get so heated I would strongly suggest using one. Now, I did actually sample this a little bit earlier, so that is why you see this red color to see um, and give it a shot. Um, but all I'm doing is using just something to kind of stir it around to help with the melting and get this going a little bit more. Um, I am actually... I tried it with a crayon because I have tons of broken wax crayon around, so that's the red color that you see. I do find that that uh, wax tends to stick more in the spoon if you decide to use something like old crayons definitely something you can use versus using these little melted waxes that they have in there as i mentioned before since the um, handle is um, pretty warm the metal spoon i'm going to go ahead and just use a glove that i had right next to me just to kind of hold it keep that heat and then i'm going to actually pour it now the reason that i'm using my um, waffle flour a media mat is because this is a silicone paste mat. So if you are not planning to pour it directly onto a surface, it will not end up sticking to this mat. So if you have the waffle flour mixed media mat, it is a great mat to use for this purpose. Um, so I went ahead and poured it out and then I'm going to take uh, my wax seat and all you need to do is put it directly down onto it. Don't need to do much movement. I actually would not suggest doing that. Probably let it sit for about, I'd say, 20 seconds. I ended up letting it sit. Um, and then I kind of wiggled it a little bit back and forth. And there is your image. So it really is that easy. Now I went ahead and melted some other ones off camera so it didn't take too long, just so you can see a sample of the other colors and what the images look like. Now I have one more on top here that is still in the process of finishing up, but I wanted to give you a nice close look on that. So again, I just wiggle it a little bit back and forth and then because I'm using this silicone base mat, it's super easy to pick up. And let's see if I can get this to focus isn't that beautiful there are a lot of tips and tricks on how you can do different wax seals again you can use the waxes that they have there i found that using about four to five pieces was the best amount um, to get a good um, surface coverage so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, got to see a sample of what the projects that could be done here with these images. Very simple project to do. Thank you so much to Casp for asking me to review their product. I really did enjoy using it and I hope you guys also enjoyed watching. If you're interested, there is a code below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care guys.